What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you guys, today we're gonna to talk about some Halloween and series and speculations that I've been thinking about these past few days, which is really crazy. So I've been thinking about how to give this to you guys because it's wild. So yeah, you guys, we're gonna to talk today about Michael Myers having to kill himself, himself. Uh, so what I mean by this is that, okay, we've known since we've seen this trailer and um, everything going on with Rowan Campbell and the character of Corey Cunningham, that he's supposed to be like this copycat, you know, of Michael Myers, this copycat killer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, and like I told you guys in previous videos, I feel like he gets bullied to having to be the shape and kind of stepping in the coveralls and mask and everything because of he's a wrongfully accused of killing someone he's babysitting and he's getting bullied and like i said you know the town of haddonfield they are tired and on edge they had to deal with michael then we get some shit like this where it's like a babysitter involved and someone dying um so they kind of like you know they bully him into being the shape that's this is what i think so uh, in previous videos you guys know what i said uh, i feel that you know uh, Corey can possibly come across like, you know, Michael some way, shape, or form. Maybe Michael is weak, and um, he's beaten up. Um, and, yeah, Corey takes the mask. Tor Corey takes the mask. Now, I don't know how I will go with the coveralls or anything, but, you know, um, if he has that mask, that's the standout piece. But um, I think he's going to get that mask, and um, he's going to be the shape and everything. And, um, yeah, you know, we get that scene where... Uh, Corey's opening the door supposedly maybe it's not Corey but everyone's saying it's Corey I think it's Corey and Lori's like this so what I'm thinking is this you guys two things he gets out of character because he's scared and he realizes he's not Michael and he's evil and Lori tells him like take the mask off who are you who are you and she sees that it's Corey Cunningham and she's like you know uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is very brutal verbally, and you know, um, even in her character of Lori, so I'm interested to like get the fuck out and stuff like that. You're not, you, you know, you're not Michael and all that, right? Um, or he can actually stay in character of Michael, like, cause he, he feels like, you know, when he has that mask on, he believes he's Michael and him and Lori, you know, uh, battle. She saw she battled, she battles two Michaels. Um, she battles Corey, right? And, um, obviously. You know, Michael's going to come out of the sewers, cave, the well, wherever he comes from, right? Because he's going to need that mask. And we know this because we saw what he did with Judy Greer and Kills. He will just walk across the earth for that mask. So I told you guys, I feel that that mask is going to bring him back to Haddonfield because he wants it. That's his his sacred thing he wants. So um, I just feel like I don't know how he will, you know, get to maybe he follows Corey like in a stalking type of way. But the main thing what I'm telling you guys through all of this is we're gonna get an unmasked Michael. So we're gonna get we're gonna get heavy, you know, Halloween kills ending scenes. If you get what I'm saying, you know, when Michael looks and the lights come on, we're gonna get heavy James Jew because he's you know Corey's gonna have his mask. Now I don't know how they're gonna shoot that. Maybe blur his face out or just collar up like like you know in '78. That would be cool. But uh, make a long story short, I think I can see this happening at Lori and, and Corey's going at it and Michael comes in. It sounds weird. Michael saves Lori. You know, Michael saves Lori. And this is what I mean by Michael has to kill himself. That he's James Jude, right? He's James Jude. Maybe he has the coveralls on. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe somehow, some way. I don't know how because Corey gets the coveralls off Michael's. I, I don't know. But they're battling. And freaking Michael grabs Corey we get James Jude with the eye and everything and Michael's choking himself out Michael's like choking himself out and everything and Lori is probably in this weird awkward situation because it's two Michaels um but yeah Michael just kills Corey in front of Lori so Lori witnesses Michael it's not actually himself but the the image of him with the mask and coveralls Michael kills himself and I could see Lori in that scene where she's running. Like, maybe I'm not running, we're in the kitchen. Maybe she's hiding somewhere. Maybe a closet. I mean, hat tip to 78. And that's why she's, like, hiding on the corner of the, um, like, the door frame. She's like, come and get me, motherfucker. 
maybe he's getting his coveralls or his mask, he's putting it on and she runs and hides, like almost like in kills. Maybe it's something like that where uh, she hides because she sees that Michael has killed Corey. Um, that's going to be so weird seeing Michael kill himself, by the way. That's why I just had to make a video about it. Because think about it. We're going to see James Jude possibly stabbing a Michael, choking out a Michael with the mask. Unless, um, only only thing out of this is that when Lori tells him to take his mask off, he doesn't put it back on. He's like walking around the house with coveralls and, a, and he has no mask. That's the only thing. Um, but, and you know, maybe Michael puts his mask on and then comes towards Corey. Uh, but I think that would be crazy to see James Jude choking out a Michael. Like, and he, uh, he takes the mask off his head and everything and he puts it on. And, he, you know, gets the knife out of the kitchen and he's, he, it's him. You know, the Lord's like, oh shit. And, and that's when we get, come and give me motherfucking Michael grabs her and he's trying to put her hand. And that's when they're battling. Cause she gets him now. She see this is him. This is him. This is no Corey. Corey's dead. Um, and stuff like that. So I think that's gonna be crazy to see a scene like that, you know, and it, it kind of sounds like that can happen, you know, because obviously, you know, it's going I don't see how they will have Lori through the movie with, with that sky blue shirt and it and if it wasn't the end. You know what I'm saying? That ending with the sky blue shirt only makes sense because that's how it ended in 78. She has that same shirt. You know, so I'm, I'm thinking that's the end when they're battling in the kitchen. But right before that, um, I really think that, you know, that's what's going to be. She's going to see Corey get killed by Michael in the house. And that's probably why she's screaming like, ah, like, because she's seeing him going at, and he's back. You're seeing Michael kill. And maybe Michael, you know, that look, maybe he's just choking. He looks at her and then he gets the mask and he puts it on and he goes. There. They're battling now. This is how it goes. You know, um, something else I want to talk about. Um, is that, you know, if when we watched in 2018, this is about Michael's death. Uh, we watched in 2018 when Loomis, you know, Lori's in the car with the revolver. She's waiting for Michael to get out of prison or whatever, wherever he's at the, uh, the asylum. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Smith's Grove. She's waiting for him to get out of Smith's Grove. And then, you know, we get this recording of Loomis and it's like basically, you know, you got to, you know, render the body until, um, you know, he's not moving or nothing basically and to his vitals which you guys know what vitals is is important organs and stuff like that is not functioning and then disintegrate the body meaning like till there's nothing nobody left of michael like you can't have anything to the point he could come back so basically having michael in pieces or you know how you guys are not trying to get deep until you know when people get cremated like kind of burn them it's nothing left it's like bones and it's over like so it kind of went when you not when I watched that, bro. Um, I had watched 2018. I had watched 2018 like um probably like a week ago, and I, I just stood out to me, man. Um, and it, it's a reason why you know Loomis and she's obviously like the tapes is playing while Lori's in the car now. It, it's just weird they played that, and I feel like that is I've been said that you guys before even ends and everything but only when he killed michael but you got to take him apart you have to really just chop him into little pieces i don't know how you would do it or what what you would do but you're going to have to do that you're going to have to take to the point because he's going to come back fingers and all that's not going to gunshots is not going to work you're going to have to take everything away from him bro like and that's what i think they're going to do to be honest because when you watch that in 2018 when you hear loma says that you know Lori is showing Lori, so maybe Lori, you know heard the tapes i don't know if she did or they were just playing because i know the podcasters were listening to him um but i don't know um it's a reason why i think they showed that while Lori was in the car and everything like and, and they're showing like michael get transferred and everybody knows it's common sense that's the only way to kill the boogeyman you can't kill him with brute force like Lori said so i think now i don't know if i'm a fan of that like them actually listen to everything Loomis says but i could see them doing that I can even see them replaying the tape as that happens if it does happen because it just makes sense because the man himself is trying to tell you guys how to kill the boogeyman. He's been studying him all these years. He's been trying to help him all these years. So I can see them trying to like do something up that out. That's my opinion. So yeah, I think that's possibly could be a, a possibility how Michael dies because I don't know how uh, no other way that he can die to be honest. Guns don't work. Uh, he's not drowned. I don't even see people drown. I just think that's what's going to be, bro. Michael's going to be in pieces. He's going to be in pieces now. I thought about this because I don't know how I would. So we know in Halloween Kills they had the mob and everybody was ready. To... Man, they was trying to mangle Michael. Uh, maybe you know, 
<sighs> it had to feel. Maybe we get the scene, like maybe towards the end, like that's the only but Maybe everybody gangs up on him again, but it's more people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like more people, almost like, you know, like I don't even know how to explain. I can just picture like a gang of people just doing something to Michael. Uh, like just trying to do so. I don't see Lori because Lori you fail a lot of times I love Lori Stroll to death and she's my favorite final girl, but you fail one-on-one -on -one with him So she's gonna need help. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be if it's the the police department I don't know but I can just see the town of Haddonfield doing like the mob or whatever because maybe they come back out for Michael after four years or maybe just because I even said that in, in for kills and I just want to end it off you guys and Halloween kills like they had the mob on the street but it would have been better if you got people coming out their house with weapons they're like he's right there he's right there like I don't know if you guys know about like you know like the the, the Richard Ramirez story of the real guy the, the real serial killer but that's how he kind of got caught. Like everybody knew where he was in the area. They kind of like came up again, like kind of boxed him in. I think that's how it could possibly play. I know it's similar to kills, but I think they would do it in a different way. Like almost like a conclusion, the ending. Like, you know, they're all taking out the monster. Like you ever seen like, you know, like Candyman. If you guys ever seen Candyman, the real original Candyman, how they did Tony Todd. Something like that. Like almost like... Like how they, they basically crucified Tony Todd, and I think it's it could possibly be something like that, like how Caprini Green crucified Candyman, and, and you know, um, I could see how to feel doing something like just you know as a group not even if it's not everybody even if it's just like the main halloween characters like maybe like lindsey allison Lori, um hawkins i don't know like maybe it's someone we get in the in, in the um film that grows on us but i can just see a lot of people doing something to michael because i just i don't know man it just I don't know. I mean, maybe Lori can do it by herself. Maybe Lori can get him down, and I just don't see it though. But maybe he can, she can get him down, and kind of just, you know, do what Loomis taught her to do. And, and, and unless they tranquilize him or some shit, I don't see how you get Michael to lay down. I'm not trying to be funny. It's like he's an animal. I don't see how the hell you could put him to sleep or whatever. So, um. Because that's what Loomis is telling him to do. Like, make sure nothing works on him and then just get rid of the body. Uh, if you go back and watch it in 2018, he says it right there when she's in the car waiting for Michael to get transferred. So that kind of rung a bell and I heard that, um... Because uh, I, I remember hearing when I first watched it, but I didn't, like... You know, because you hear the guy screaming in the hallway, but you if you listen closely, that's what he's saying. So, um, yeah, you guys... Uh, this is the end of the video though, man. Comment down below what you guys think about everything we talked about. You know, Michael having to kill himself. You know, um, Lori having to see two Michaels and, like, just witness Michael kill a guy. And Michael saving Lori. He's basically saving Lori from Corey in a copycat. So that's super crazy. But, um, yeah. The Loomis, you know, recording saying, telling them the directions of how to kill him and kind of get rid of Michael. And do you guys think Lori's going to listen to that? Um... And follow those footsteps. Do you guys think she can possibly do that? And that's the ending of, you know, Michael's story. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of things out there, man, in the Halloween universe that uh, has been, you know, brung up how to take out Michael. But as some of it in our reality, it just won't work. He always comes back. So, um, yeah, you guys, man. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments about everything we talked about today. But unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me on my social media. I like Instagram on Instagram. I like Scary77 on TikTok. Brand on Facebook. And I like Scary on Twitter. And don't forget right there where it uh, says subscribe next to it. Click join and become a member of the channel. And get exclusive content and benefits of the channel. Also, you guys, you can uh, become a Patreon. That would be super cool. Um, and you can, you know, behind the scenes of videos and everything and what goes on with I Like Scary. And don't forget, you guys, to check out the official I Like Scary merch store. Also, um, I want you guys to watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.